Hi y'all, welcome and welcome back. If you're first time here, thank you for stopping by and um, deciding to watch my video. Many thanks to my returning subscribers. I'm going to set up my budget planner for this month, September. I don't really make a fuss with stickers unless I have something specific to put down. I do have these stickers from uh, this planner and I took out a couple of things to stick on because September starts Thursday the 1st so then I have all these blank ones here so I just like to put some inspirational stickers to keep me going and motivated so I'm just going to manually start by marking the dates down Thirty days in September. Got my two paydays, which is the ninth and the twenty-third. I get paid by weekly. We work part time. I'm just gonna put these stickers here. This one says you can do hard things. I do like that one. And this one says a penny saved is a penny earned and I like that very much I think I'll like to stick something here as well and this one is work hard I also got my highlighter pens my white out first of all I want to start with my bills. It's not as easy to budget by weekly as it is weekly or monthly. It's a little bit more of a task when I do it. So I'm just gonna write out all the bills that are due. For instance, I've got payments coming out on the 18th and the 22nd. So then I will put them on my 9th payday so I know I have that money to meet it when it arrives that week I've got my sky and my TV license for bills that color I've also got my water bill that's my three direct debits that's coming out and then my next set of direct debits will be um, on the 28th but I will put it for the 23rd so I know to have the money in there on that date that's my gas and um, it's central heating and my gas cooker that's what it is I've got my washing machine and dryer insurance and then for the 1st and the 6th of October I have two direct debits coming out but I always leave the money in I always leave the money in to meet it um, then Water is the post office payments. Do you beg your pardon? See, easily done. But I try not to stress myself out when I make mistakes, I just get on with it. And what's my other um, post office payments? My other post office payments water and my council tax and that comes out I normally do it on the 1st of 
every month. Yep. Okay. So that's post office. So that's what I've got for this month to come out. I always make sure that I got my money in my account to meet the direct debit so water's done already and the sky and the tv license will be coming out on the 18th the money is there for that already i hope that makes sense i usually pay most of my bills yearly my resident permit which is the permit to park my car outside my house that i pay yearly and I pay my car insurance yearly. I also pay the pet insurance yearly. And obviously the MOT comes out yearly. So all that is accounted for on a separate account system that I do. This is just what I like to show you how I control this on a monthly basis. My monthly goals continue with my wardrobe decluttering and sell some of the stuff. Also, start my uh, Sagittarius challenge. Make sure the bills are paid on time. No takeaways and 20 days no spend. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping that I can get that done. So looking ahead, I've got my um, Sagittarius um, savings challenge and that's towards my cruise. Now the monthly savings goal, I'm wrapping up my um, roll the dice this month and that would be, uh, I think that's £136, 136 pounds if my memory serves me right, 136 and the other one, the roll the dice number two, double. This is just the initial setup for now. As the days and weeks go on, then obviously I'll be updating everything else. This has got gold. Actually, I can just put what I wrote in the front here. Put the monthly goals here, just to remind me on the overall spread. So I can see once I hit this page. I think I'll do that. Um, wardrobe cell. And start Saggy Challenge. Saggy Challenge. And who's paid on time? time and no takeaways and also 20 days no spend no spend right and let me just highlight that so I'll know Today's no spend. And whatever notes that come to mind that needs put in here, I'll do it. I'm just trying to remember, I did not spend any money since the 1st of September. I've not spent any money, only on bills. So that's it really, just really, really basic. If you did like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the bell in order to receive notifications if you'd like to see more budgeting cash stuffing envelopes savings challenges a um, bit of diy and crafting as well take care of your good selves and i'll see you back soon bye for now bye